Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using Doodly to create a wedding proposal video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Love is the most amazing, fulfilling experience in the world. And when it comes to proposing to your significant other, there are a million ways that you can do it. Here's one way you might not have thought about popping the question with a doodly whiteboard video. Now you could make the video and show it at a party, at home while cozying up by the fireplace, or you could even ask your local sports bar owner to play it on all of the TVs at the prescribed time. We'll leave it up to you as far as that part goes. In the meantime, let's create a quick example. You'll see that I've already created a short little script with the desired text. And all we need to do is jazz it up a little. You'll want to decide if you want to include photos or use the stock characters that come in Doodly. The Doodly Marketplace also has some cute characters of brides and grooms if you want to go that route. Let's go over to Pixabay for a moment. I typed in engagement and all of these images came up and these would be really nice to include if you wanted to use photographs rather than the characters. So you could go with something like this here or the locked hearts, maybe you put your names in them, would be pretty neat. Some generic photos of happy couples. I would use my own pictures of, you know, you and your significant other rather than stock people, but it can give you an idea of the types of photos that you might want to include. That's cute for an ending screen. This is just a nice generic one that you could put whatever you wanted. You could just go with hearts and love. And all kinds of ideas that you can get for free on Pixabay. If we go back into Doodly, I'm looking right now at the Doodly Marketplace, which is here on this little shopping cart icon. And I chose the wedding bundle. And you'll see these cute little characters. They're kind of fun. There is a charge for these. But if you're getting married, this is going to be minimal compared to all your other costs that you're going to have. <laughs> so once you decide on your approach, then you just start building your video. I think that I will use these little characters. You can add some embellishments if you'd like. Now, of course, you don't have to use characters. I really do think it would be nice to include a series of photos of the two of you together, and then maybe a photo of the ring for the very last scene. Another consideration is whether to narrate the video or use text in the scenes like I have. This will depend on the environment where you're going to be showing the video. For example, if you're going to be in a baseball stadium, text might be better. On the other hand, if you're super nervous, pre-recording your words now will be really helpful. Plus, you'll have them forever. I'll leave that up to you, but I'll show you how to do the recording, just in case. If you go down here to the microphone track, click the plus sign, and when you're ready, click the red button, and then begin speaking your words. My love, from the moment we first met, there has been a connection between us. And then just click stop to stop. Now you'll see you have to adjust some of the timings, of course. I had put the text in here first and then added the drawings. Well, maybe we want a different order. So maybe you want the, the drawing first and then the text, maybe another drawing and then this final text there. That's fine. You may want a little pause before the next scene comes on. So I like to add two seconds. And maybe you don't want the swipe left transition. Maybe you want it to swipe right, up, down, or erase. Just make your change here and click apply. And make the adjustments for all of your scenes. Finally, click the sounds tab and choose music. And find a romantic song for your soundtrack. Once you find it, just drag and drop it. You may need to scroll over to get it exactly where you want it to start. 
And then if it's too long, go over here and then just shorten the track by sliding it over. Right click to fade out. You can stretch the triangle for a slower fade. And then click on this little speaker icon to turn the music down if you find it's too loud for your taste. And that's how you can pop the question in Doodly. I hope your loved one says yes. Thanks for watching. Bye.